Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Southern Balance. Uh, today I'm going to build a birdhouse on camera. I'm going to show you all the steps that I'm going to go through. I'm going to incorporate a lot of brand new techniques that you've probably never seen before. Uh, I will tell you about two weeks ago I made my first birdhouse. I even created a video showing you what I did. Uh, unfortunately my uh, building skills outweigh my filming skills. <laughs> so my, my video did not turn out. However, the ending did turn out. So after this video is over, and after I show you what we're gonna build on camera, at the end, I'm gonna include the other ending so you can see all the other birdhouses that I built. So even though the ending will sort of be duplicated, it's worth watching so you just so you can see all the other birdhouses. And uh, since that time, I've already taken them to my shop and I've sold about four of them already. So the builds are gonna be successful. Um, I'm also asking you to follow along. I'll always make something out of nothing. I'll always walk you through all of the steps and stages and details and uh, hopefully give you some brand new ideas. So uh, as for now, what you're going to need is a minimum of three fence pickets. So I'm going to show you what we're starting with. Okay, so we're going to start with these three fence pickets. They're just individual pickets, you can see. Uh, what I did yesterday was I glued them up. So here's the three that I glued together. Okay, um, this is all just for, to save time. So I glued them up. So you see that? And after I glued them up, I measured the halfway point and I, uh, I cut them in half. So there's actually there's actually two two stacks here. There's a top and a bottom. So we're going to start on this right here. All right, guys. So we've already drawn our pattern on here. I've already cut these off. I didn't realize I wasn't recording. But I've already cut these side pieces off. You know, I had one that was here, I had one that was here. Uh, we're going to cut this middle out, we're going to taper the sides, and we'll just take it from that point. <laughs> Alright guys, now that we've got this cut out and tapered, my camera went off in the middle of filming, sorry about that. I've already did my 45 degree angles. I've cut this out, we're going to sand this out just a little bit with these filing sticks. I'm just going to give it a little bit of taper in there like that. Alright guys, after we've cut this out, file this, we're going to flame it a little bit just to make it black. Now we're going to separate the pieces. So after we've uh, drilled these holes, we're going to clean this up. We're going to flame these. Okay, so after we've kind of scorched the inside, we're, we're going to come back. We're going to kind of sand that off a little bit. Now, we're going to cut some screens for these. All right, guys, so after we've cut our circles, you can see that. We're going to put the screen on here like this. Okay, and then we're going to put our ring around that. Okay, now that we now that we've done the venting, now we're going to we're going to put this one to the side. We're going to pull the other one over here. Okay, now we're going to we're going to play with the stitching in here. So we're going to get busy with that. All right, so now I've got a plate full. Okay, so we're just going to use these. So we're just going to just grab a couple that are the same size because I made them all different sizes. So one that you have them the same size, we're just going to take them like this. Decide where I want them to cross, like this. Once I see my spacing is correct, I'm just gonna hammer it down just a little bit, just to make a mark. Okay. Gonna put it in there like that, put that in there like that, give that a tap. Okay, pretty easy. Okay, we're just gonna continue going down. That's all it is. Alright guys, at this point in time, we're going to figure out what we're going to do to decorate this thing. Cool. 
Okay, so I've determined that I'm going to put the Texas here. We're going to mount this gas pipe like this. And I've decided that we're going to put this uh, hose bib, I think, on that side. Okay guys, at this point in time, I've got these little things I always use for my jigs. I'm just going to stand it up like that. All that's there for is just to hold it up. Pretty simple. So we're going to put a little glue on there. Okay. Put it up against there. We're going to do both sides. And we're going to brad nail that in, but then we're going to screw it in. The brad nail is just to hold everything in place. Okay guys, sorry about <clears throat> all the changes. My camera keeps turning itself off. That's been, that's what my issue was the last time I uh, built a birdhouse like this for you on camera. The, my, my camera keeps turning off. I really don't know what the issue is, but uh, it's, it's spoiling all my videos. <clears throat> I like to use two inch screws to go inside, kind of adds to the stability. These don't have to be like measured because you're not going to see them. There's going to be some trim that goes on here. Okay. So that brings stability to the bottom. So we just have this, uh, we have this jig in there holding it stable and steady just until we build out the top. But that's just, this is just in there temporarily. So we're going to work on the bottom. All right, guys, uh, I've already cut a couple of these that's this length. We're going to put one in the middle, and we're going to split the difference down here. Okay, so here's our original piece of wood. We've got two pieces that are approximately three and an eighth of, and an, eighth of an inch. So we're going to put it on here like this. We're going to make this one and this one permanent. The middle one is going to be the removable one for like once a year clean out. This one is the rainbow one before. There you go, that takes care of the bottom. So this part, sort of complicated, but not complicated at the same time. So I've already cut my angle on here. The, no, nothing here is mounted, but I'm going to mount only one side. So I'm not even going to worry about the back. That's just kind of there supporting that. All we're going to do, put a little bit of glue here. Okay. All my birdhouses that I've made so far, they've all been glued up. Everything. Okay. The brad now holds it in place and then the glue dries. It becomes very solid. Very, very solid. So what we're going to do is put a brad nail in there just to hold it together. 
And we'll come back, we'll add more bread now. So this is just, that's just to hold it in place. So then, we're just going to take some different pieces. Some I already have cut, some I have to cut. We're just going to line this up right here, and then draw a line. Okay, so then I have to cut that down. Again, we're not worried about this. We're just dealing with the bottom part. Okay, so that that's going to fit good. So we're going to we're going to glue that, okay. and then we're going to brad mill that. And we're just going to do the same thing. We're just going to work our way down, and then we're going to start on the other side. All right, guys, this is where we are now. We've kind of done the front, we've done the stitching. I've done this where it looks like it's been broken in two pieces. That's the inside. I went ahead and did the stitching on back when I was off camera. We have our vent holes. So now I'm going to end up uh, building a perch on the inside, maybe a couple of different levels, a little nesting area, and of course we have our clean out on the bottom. Um, all right guys, this is where we are so far. Like I said, we've done all this where it's broken open. I'm still gonna work on the roof. We've done the stitching. This is where the bird is gonna go in. Uh, sort of made all that on the inside while the camera was off. Uh, again, my camera won't stay on for some unknown reason. Um, I've got a little nesting area. Birds can hop up here. They can also nest up here. They can take the little stairs all the way to the venting. If they want to look out the venting, they can do that. That's what it looks like on that side. And then, of course, the back. <clears throat> so, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start here. We're going to work on the roof. And then we have to get the right, the right angle to start coming down here. Hey guys, welcome back to day two. Uh, I could have finished this in one day just to let you know, but because for some reason my camera keeps heating up, it keeps turning itself off, I'm not able to shoot like the entire day and then edit it down. I'm having to actually turn it off now because it's turning itself off. So I'm literally turning it off so I can turn it back on when I need to. But anyway, so where we are right now is we're working on the roof. Uh, we're gonna put these next two on the roof and then we're gonna continue going down the side. Um, this is obviously the back of the birdhouse. Uh, I'm going to walk you through all the steps. Hopefully I've left all the steps in. And hopefully you were able to see all that. And again, let, let me remind you, um, at the end of the video, even when I show you my finished product, I'm going to include the ending to the video that I shot a couple of weeks ago. Because that's going to feature the other birdhouses. And you'll see that it, they're very creative. So hopefully I'll inspire somebody else out there to get just as creative. But anyway, just kind of follow along. Uh, notice that uh, as I'm building, I've been gluing everything, like every every seam in here, all the inside, the stairs, uh, all the different platforms, everything is nailed together and it's also glued together. So just, again, follow along and then just kind of watch how I do that. Okay, on this one I did an angle and I did an angle on the next one also so I could taper it in and I'll show you that. Okay, so I've cut uh, both the side pieces and both the front and the back. Sorry about blocking the shot. And I'll just this there. Okay. So we're going to flip it over do the same thing and then we're going to cut the missing board here.
Okay. I'm flip it onto its front. Okay. So what we have to do now is we have to cut this little piece of trim for both sides. So actually it looks kind of even, so it shouldn't really be that hard. It's just a matter of measuring for that. Let me try to turn this thing sideways where you can see that. Okay, so look, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a piece of trim that you know we've already cut for here, it's the same size. Okay guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn the birdhouse, hopefully, where you can see it. I hope right there. That's upside down, but that's what we're going to do. And what I've done off camera uh, was I took a handle, which was a complete handle at the time, and I cut it in half to make it look like it was broken. So we're going to take part of it and we're going to mount it like on here, like this. Okay, now we're going to give it a really good sanding. Okay guys, I'm going to set this birdhouse up where you can take a look at it along with the other one that I built. Okay guys, so I finished the birdhouse, I sanded it down and everything, I'm going to show you that one along with another one that I built. And uh, after this ending, stay tuned for the alternate ending. Uh, the alternate ending is a bird birdhouse that I made uh, like two or three weeks ago on camera. Unfortunately, the video did not turn out, but the ending did. So at the end of this video, I'm going to put the other ending on there so you could see all the birdhouses and the shapes and designs that I'm using. But as for now, this is, this is what we built on camera. Uh, you can see it looks... Pretty good look like it's broken in half i've got the handle on there i've got the stitching a little bit of trim we made this one texas themed um, it has the vent holes in the back it has the clean out on the bottom this is the other one that i made it's the first time i've ever painted a birdhouse i think it looks pretty good front and back i don't know that i'll continue to paint i happen to enjoy you know the cedar look but that's that's what it looks like and uh, they're very very solid again they're they're brad nailed together they're glued together uh, very strong, very sturdy. They definitely will withstand the weather outside. And um, I think they came out really good. So anyway, guys, stay tuned. And hopefully this summer I'm going to have many more videos. If I can solve the problem with my camera turning off from overheating, I don't know what else to do. I mean, I have a GoPro, and I thought those things were designed to, you know, for hot temperatures. But, you know, this is Texas sun, so maybe somebody has some advice for me. But anyway, you're always welcome to come out to my shop. Stay tuned for future videos, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks a lot, guys. Please like and share. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, guys. So I've got everything cleaned up. I'm going to show you the birdhouse that we built today on camera, as well as all the other birdhouses that I spent the past couple of weeks on. Again, they're really hard for me to do because I only get like an hour or two here and there. I work seven days a week. So anyway, let's take a look at them. All right, guys. So these are the ones that I started with. That was my very first one right there. Actually, I wish I didn't stain it, but, you know, I did, and so that's that's just how it came out. So uh, aside from that one, I did this one right here. I tried to work with some silverware. If you can see, I used a fork on there. You see, I kind of bent it in the shape of a heart. It's kind of neat. All of these have the vent hole in the back, and they've got the drain clean out on the bottom. So, like, once a year, it's good to, you know, open them up, clean them out. Okay, this one right here is actually pretty cool. So, uh, you know, that I used a gas flex since I do tankless water heaters 
we've got the from the drain so that one came out really neat so these were a little bit more challenging okay they're actually really big they're over two feet tall it might not look like it on camera but so you see the one right here that's the one uh, that's the one that we built today with the window on there we've got the stitching and of course that's the Batman one Batman themed and I actually used a, um, a saw blade I don't know if you can see that that's a saw blade right there kind of neat very very big so that one's gonna be more of a Texas theme actually I also put a Texas on the one that we that we built today I put a Texas on there this one I put a Texas like right in the middle for the birds just to go in and this one I don't know I don't I was just kind of getting into all the curvature so it was fun but um, anyway <laughs> I invite you to follow along this should be of a summer of videos hopefully we'll just see how my time frame goes but uh, follow along like I always tell you if you do flea markets if you do craft fairs this is gonna be the station for you please like please subscribe I'm always gonna try to build something for nothing and I'm always gonna try to show you like my own twist on things so I try to build things that you're not really gonna find on the internet so anyway stay tuned I appreciate you watching